we're heading up to Buffalo. Just got some fuel. You can see it's still got dew on the windows and stuff. I was going to film it coming over here, but you couldn't see. <clears throat> but I want to talk about this real quick on this boat. As you, a lot of you guys know, I bought this boat uh, the end of last year and put it in this spring. When I went to go look at the boat, I knew there was some problems with the gauges. Um, the tacks were all over the place. The sink gauge was messed up, and it was, you know, I knew what was wrong with it. Faria gauges have a uh, lifetime limited warranty, or limited lifetime warranty. And if you pack up the gauges, send it to Faria, they'll give you another one. Well, I did, and they got me a new uh, tack and a new sink gauge. And I'm still waiting for the new, the other new tack. The sink gauge that they gave me is not working, so I ended up taking the power wire off the back, put a piece of tape on it, so they have to send me another one. But the whole reason why I bought the gauges <clears throat> last month or a month ago, month and a half ago, the port side engine were only idle at about 450, 450 RPMs at idle. Now they run at. Uh, about 750 800 right where they're supposed to be okay but it only revved at 450 rpms and then when i leave the marina it would load up almost like a carbureted engine and these are fuel injected it would load up almost like a carbureted engine and sputter and pop a few times and then it would you know get going and then it would be fine for the rest of the day no issues so i always thought oh it needs a tune-up it needs plugs you know whatever these are coils they're not wires so you know, it was going to go through all that. Well, I was talking to a friend of mine who's a, uh, a boat mechanic, and he asked me, he said, are your tacks doing weird things? And I said, well, as a matter of fact, they are. He goes, I think that you have a dead short or something in your tack. And I said, well, what does that have to do with anything? Well, apparently, the ECM on this boat computer, it has... It's a, it's a yellow wire and it goes, it bridges. Each one of these um, gauges has a, one yellow wire going on the back of it that go back to the computer. And the computer, what it does is it, it tells the, it tells these gauges information from the engines and then they, you know, it tells this engine, okay, it's revving at uh, 750 RPMs. Well, apparently this gauge was only going to 450. From what I understand, it then relays information back to the ECM saying, we're only revving at 450 and then the computer starts trying to deliver more fuel to that engine then now it's now it's, it's you know loading it up it's it's sending too much fuel not enough air and that's exactly what happened to the boat because as soon as i put a new gauge in it it went right to 750 rpms this is a month and a half two months ago and it never it has never missed a beat since so any of you guys out there having some issues with your boat not running right and it's not a new boat, it's only an O2. But if you're having your issues with your boat not running right, check out your gauges and see if maybe that could possibly have something to do with it. So we are, uh, and yeah, you can see the sink gauge doesn't work, but I'm sinking it just by eye and by, by sound. I can hear it. I can hear the uh, engines as they get in sync. But we're just gonna run up here, catch up to these guys and get to Buffalo. Buffalo. I cruised here at uh, 3,600 RPMs at a max speed of 23 miles an hour and average 16. So she's definitely no, uh, not going to win any races. But um, like I said, these props are wrong. If I go full throttle on this, it will over rev. So they're they're pitched wrong or they're wrong diameter or something. But we're gonna we're gonna get those checked out in the fall and then in the springtime. I'll put the new ones in but everybody just pulled up here the three boats and I'm gonna go get lines and fenders out and then we're gonna go ahead and get tied up so I'll get back to you in just a minute here
there. I thought they were going to uh, Yeah, I thought they were down at uh, Riverwork. Is that Butcher too? Yeah. He left before us, I think, right? in
for a power cord. Buddy, how are you now? <laughs> 